G'day, how are you doing? Hopefully doing very well keeping healthy. So I'm doing pretty good on this side of the desk. Well, AMD have launched the next generation workstation professional production graphics card, and that is the Radon Pro W7900 and also the W7800. Now this one's off their latest RDNA free architecture, and boy, these things are fast. Now last year I actually reviewed the W7800 and also the W6600 and boy they were very quick as well and also had very good price in there. Same with the these new W7900 and 7800 and one thing I want to make mention as you can see here from the previous one it had a bit of a blue visually looking card for the W7800 and 7600 as well and I was blown by the look of it. Now AMD have actually chosen to go back to the black and what does that mean? They're serious business at the moment but I'm not really bummed by the actual different color scheme. What it just means is basically most of these workstation class graphics live in workstations and most workstations are just black. They're really about functionality, it's all about stability and working for very long duration of times. So these workstation class computers really don't really have a side case, they don't have RGB lights so I'm not again not bummed by the actual colors just saying oh okay it's something different I just saw between the last year W6800 and also this year's 7800 but still very nice load. Now this is the W7800 and we've got a fair bit of weight here so it's got a bit of it is a blower style here as well too and it does run off two eight pins and which is actually kind of good and we actually haven't got a really increase in actual the thickness size unlike NVIDIA which have actually gone bigger to more um, sizing of the ports and this is actually good. Now I do want to make a very special mention about the output that comes out of this. Now we got three full size display port and they are 2.1 standard. That's right 2.1. I'm going to talk about a little bit later. There's also a mini display port is also 2.1 as well. Now what's so special about 2.1? Now AMD are the very first to actually integrate and go to the standard of DisplayPort 2.1. The green team which is Nvidia has not done that with any of the latest graphics card at all. So AMD have beat them to the race for this. Now what does 2.1 mean? It has actually got three times the bandwidth of DisplayPort 1.4 and what that means is this thing can actually support large resolutions, large monitors. It can actually support 8K at 60 hertz uncompressed. Now if you're in AV, what does that mean? It can support full color, 4x4x4, four by four by four, and it can do 8K at 120 hertz with DSC. And of course, it also so able to support 12K resolution at 60 hertz. Of course, that's with the help of DSC, but still, absolutely. Now we're gonna go through the performance of this beautiful base W7800. Here's the results of the benchmarks performed on the Radon Pro W7800. Now this is in a workstation class computer in the Lenovo P620. Now this has a Threadripper Pro 3975WX with 64 gigs of RAM. And here's the results for Passmark, PCMark, Pugin Photoshop, Pugin Premiere Pro, Pugin After Effects, Pugin DaVinci Resolve, Procon AI, Microsoft Windows Machine Learning, Blender, Furmark, Luxmark, Eugene Engine, Beckview Pref 13. and Spec View Pref 2020. And for comparison, here's the results with the W6800 with the W7800 in the same testbed machine. This is idle of the P620 with the AMD Radon Pro W7800 looking at 38 decibels. Now I'm going to run a workload on the AMD Radon Pro. We're going to run a benchmark and see how it treats. Now this is in default fan mode for the profile. 
So we'll start this off now. Looking around about 40 degrees and we are running around about 252 watts for the total board power and the actual degrees of the junction of it is around about 57 degrees and as for the core temperature is 51 degrees and the fans only spinning up to about 1400 rpms which is pretty decent now i actually find the system fan of the p620 actually louder than the amd radon w7800 fan as it's now around about averaging about 43 decibels now i'm going to move the fan to its maximum fan speed and we'll see what kind of how loud this fan can go up to so let's just see how that runs off running the w7800 fan at its maximum speed is 61 decibels now because most of its time its operating temperature is actually pretty good and we also have not really loud fan speed I'm actually going to try something a little bit different and actually put this into a crypto mining mode and we'll hopefully usually that actually heats up the card quite a lot especially the memory and also the core we're going to do that and see what the fan speed can actually get up to and also its volume of for the fan speed so I'm just going to start this task off right now and we'll have a look at the how it runs for the matrix for this so let's just run this off as we can just try this away and I can definitely see that the core speed and the power consumption on the graphics card is 252 watts which is actually really good compared to a lot of other graphics cards out there and at this especially at this caliber this is doing very well now we've got this pretty much now down to a stable sort of temperature at its workload which is quite a lot on this crypto money as it normally flats out the core and also the memory and here we got the actual fan speed at around about 26,000 rpms and the actual total board power it was reading about 252 watts and our junction temperature is at 75 and also the current temperature on the core is 64 degrees celsius so definitely again the memory is a little bit more hotter but it's doing quite well now as for the actual sound of the graphics card at its max you're looking at 51 decibels so I, well i'm pretty impressed by it's how loud it sounds and also the, how well it does in terms of board power absolutely fantastic Anybody have actually done a mind-blowing job on the new Radon Pro W7800 and also the 7900. Now, I absolutely love the performance of this and I think the actual pricing really hits at home there. AMD have been very competitive, just giving a bit of run for its money for the, the green team here. Definitely, I love what you're doing, AMD. Now, I hope you find this video informative or enjoyed it. If you did, even support my channel, smash that like button for me and also share this video. It does help me out as well. And as always, imperfections in life makes it beautiful and interesting. And I'll see you next video.